think maybe the light situation with the GoPro has been solved. There is a new light, and it's stupid bright making me blind. So hopefully things are okay now. What be going down, people of the world? Redbeard here, coming at you from his couch. Welcome back to another Daily Drink vlog for the beer of the today. We have got a can of Cole style ale by the Cremor Springs Brewery. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that I have only ever had one Colt style beer in my life, and that was the Kirby's Kolsch by Muskoka Brewery, which was quite enjoyed, so... Kinda hoping to enjoy this one as well. Let's crack her open. For today's glass. Yeah, gotta use the Cremors. Cream more glass for the cream more beer. Come on now. As always, all the thanks in the whole wide world. Those you watch my videos, the beard loves you also very, 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 very much. Yes, he does. This is quite clear. Quite clear. Nice looking little bit ahead. Look at those beautiful bubbles. Beautiful bubbles. Got a little bit of haziness kind of in there, but looks nice. Uh, kind of a, a loggery aroma going on. More malty than anything. Let's give her a shot. Mm. That's decent. Kind of like a... Right at the very end, a little tiny kind of hint of caramel or something was there. That was actually... That was nice. Yeah, this is... This is pretty good. I don't think this one has the peachiness that the Kirby's Kolsch had, but different beers are different. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody! Mmm. Yeah, that little bit of... Mmm! I can't... I can't fully... It doesn't last long enough for me to, like, analyze it, but it's there and then it's gone, but... There's some just delightful flavor that pops up. I like this stuff. Really, really smooth. Like, nothing lingers around after that little explosion of flavor. It's gone. Gone. But good. Kolsch are traditionally brewed in the city of Cologne. Straw blonde in color, Kolsch are subtle and delicate with a crisp, clean finish. Enjoy our fresh interpretation of this special German ale. Huh. They suggest a stained glass? I think that's almost what that is, but it says Cremor. I was just going for that. The style is ale, the color is straw blonde, the IBUs are 20. Store cool and dry, blah blah blah. Store cool and enjoy fresh, not dry. We got no ingredients on here though. And there's some kind of date code, but no ingredients. Not overly impressed with that. Like, you got your, all this stuff here, but like, why, why not the ingredients? Why not? Why? Definitely seems to be more of the bigger, like, their, Cremor is not a huge brewery, but they're one of the small craft breweries that was purchased by, I believe, M Molson or Coors owns them now, I'm pretty sure. So they've got a lot of money that they can use now. I don't understand why that money doesn't go towards ingredients. It's like once you get too big, you start watering down your beer or something maybe and you don't want to let people know? Is that what it is? Because that, that's, what, that's what it makes me think. When I don't see ingredients. I'm like, what the hell? Why not? Yeah, I lost my mind right there. It's fine. Today being August 8th, on this date in 1908, Wilbur Wright made his first flight at a race course at Le Mans, France. It is the Wright brothers' first public flight. That's pretty cool. In 1969, at a zebra crossing in London, photographer Ian McMillan took the photograph that would be used as the album cover for the Beatles album Abbey Road, Abbey Road, blah 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 blah. And finally, 1974, President Richard Nixon, in a nationwide television address, announces his resident 
resignation resident announced his resignation from the office of the president of the united states of america effective the next day at noon basically just so he could avoid getting impeached that's yeah the whole white watergate that's what it was the watergate scandal yeah good old usa i don't know if i'd say this is quite as good as the kirby's coals from muskoka brewery that, that little peachiness in that one really did add to the overall tastiness of the beer. But this is this is still pretty good. Pretty good, blah, blah. I cannot talk today. I apologize. Yeah, it's nice and very nice, refreshing, clean, finished kind of beer. Yeah. Be good on like a very hot day sitting out in the sun have some of this stuff ice ice cold and oh yeah oh yeah you know what time it is time to kill the kolsch drink numbers are last <sighs> yeah that's not bad at all so creamore springs your Kolsch style ale. Rating. Solid eight. Solid eight. Would have been a nine. Put ingredients on your goddamn can. And that is going to do it for today's daily drink vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button. And if you want to see more daily drink vlogs, then be sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you got something to say to me, then put the comments in the box down below. Thanks again, and I'll be back with another daily drink vlog tomorrow. Peace out! I'm skinning up my skin cause that shit is old But the skin underneath it's made of gold Bitch, it's made of gold The skin underneath is made of gold I'm skinning up my skin cause that shit is old But the skin underneath is made of gold Bitch, it's made of gold The skin underneath is made of gold Yeah, I think the overall lighting thing might be okay now Fingers crossed that it is